Hi there, it's Kaya from Kaju Crafts and today I will show you this Christmas card on which I will use texture paste a snow. First I will stamp out the images that I will use. I will use these two cute bunnies that are from the Snow Buddy stamp set along with some gifts that are included on the same set. I will then take my alcohol markers and start coloring. I will be doing just the basic shading with three shades. Right now I am using grays for the bunnies. I will be using W0, W2 and W4 markers. And I will just put the darkest color down first and then I will use the medium shade and the lightest shade to blend everything out. Then I will use blue color for the gifts because I wanted the colors to connect beautifully with the background and I will have a snowy background so it will be blue. Then for the ribbon I will use some greens and since this is such a small area I decided to go with just two shades of green. And then the last thing that I will add is this peachy color that I will add to the bunny's ears. And then of course I will use the coordinating dies to die cut everything out. But before I do that I will use white gel pen to add some details. And I feel they do make a lot of difference. Then let's move on to the background. I will be using Distress Oxide inks because blending them is super easy and it always gives a beautiful result. I am using two blues, Broken China and Tumbled Glass and I will just blend them out. I use Broken China on the top and then here I'm using the Tumbled Glass. I will add a hill on the bottom, that's why I have a white area down there. But I will just place this stencil over my square background and then I will use some grey distress ink that I put on this packaging and I will go ahead and put there also some texture paste. I don't want to have this paste white so I will add the grey and I won't blend it perfectly because I feel like snow shouldn't be perfectly grey. So I will just add some Distress ink and then go directly over the stencil. This has a really beautiful circles that once removed look like snow. How cool is this? I will use the same paste on this hill that I made using just a normal white paper and the hill border die. And then I will use some grey texture paste and some white for even more interest and I will go with the flow and make random patterns because snow is totally random and I love that you can do this with texture paste. I will left everything to dry and I will move on to the sentiment. I die cut Mary from white cardstock and its shadow from the black cardstock. This is from Falala set and Sentiment Christmas is also from the same set, but I stamped it out using black ink on a white cardstock. I will now use this liquid glue that I have in my syringe and I will tap it on the back of the white die cut piece and then I will just put it on its shadow and you can see how easy it is and since I am using the liquid glue that dries clear, I don't have any problems. Then I will use double-sided tape to tape down my background to the actual card base and I will do the same for the heel. You can see here how awesome this snow looks. It's really dimensional and for me having dimensional a simple card is perfect. I will then put the bunnies one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. I will use some foam rectangles to pop them up that I cut in a perfect shape using scissors and then for the gifts I will glue them down using the same liquid glue and I will just put it in between my bunnies. I will add two 
towards the left bunny and one towards the right bunny and I will only use three because I really feel like that the group of three works best. Then I will use the same glue again for the merry part of the sentiment that I will put directly in the middle of my background and then Christmas will be popped up using the foam rectangles. And this will actually finish up this card. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you will try and make some cards using the texture paste because it gives such a nice dimension and texture that it's perfect for winter cards where you have snow on your card. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye!